I'm Adil Kumar, sharing with you an example to prove trigonometric identity from mean value theorem. So the question here is, prove the trigonometric identity sine square x plus cos square x equals to 1. Now, as you know, sine x and cos x are continuous functions, so their combination is also continuous. Um, and second, they are both differentiable. So let's define a function f of x, which is equals to sine square x plus cos square x. Now, as far as this function is con considered, we know it is continuous and it is differentiable. Uh, from minus infinity to plus infinity, the entire domain, right? So. So what you can do is, you can take any fixed domain in between, right? So you could take any domain uh, from A to B. So it will be continuous and differentiable within that domain, right? So continuous in the closed interval, differentiable in the open interval within that particular domain. Now if I find derivative of this function, what do I get? F dash x is 2 sine x times derivative of sine x, which is cos x, plus derivative of 2 cos square x is 2 cos x, times derivative of cos x, which is minus sine x. And this is equal to 0. Okay. Now, we know from mean value theorem that if these two conditions are satisfied, in that case, there exists a point C, so that the derivative at that point is equals to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a, right? So, so for any point, we know that that exists. But what we found out for this function is that it is always equal to zero. It is always equal to zero. So that implies that for all values, of x in the open interval a to b, f dash c is equal to 0, right? So that means f b equals to f a. That means that implies that f of b equals to f of a, or we say the function is constant. So only for a constant function, all these values will be equal, right? So that means this function, f of x is constant. That is, what we have proved here is f of x is sine square x plus cos square x. This is equal to a constant. So that is what we have proved. Now, what is the value of this function? It is constant, fine, but whether it is 0, 1, 2, 3, what, right? So what is the value of constant? So let's figure it out. So, so what is value of constant? Let's find that out. So that you can do by kind of making a table of values. What you can do is uh, you can just take some values of x and then calculate what sine squared x plus cos squared x is, right? For example, if I take x as 0, in that case, I get sine square 0 plus cos square 0. And we know sine 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1, so we get 1, right? So likewise, we can take many other values. We can take uh, pi by 6, pi by 3, even pi by 4. And then what you'll find is for each value, we get just to number one. One is enough since we know it is constant and we know this constant is one, right? So from here, we get that the constant is one and therefore we can conclude that sine square x plus cos square x is indeed equal to one, right? So that is how we can really apply mean value theorem to also prove some trigonometric identities. Purposely, I just took a very simple case 
you could do some other identities in this fashion. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.